In this video, I'm going to show you really a great principle for utilizing match coverage against any formation, primarily meta type stuff that you're going to be seeing. We're going to be talking about today how to use match coverage to shut down a bunch, but you can also use it to shut down a variety of different formations that you're going to face if you follow this one rule that I'm going to give you in this video. Now, if you want to get my entire match coverage defensive ebook, make sure to join our Patreon. The link is in the description down below. For just $10, you're going to get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, including the match coverage game plan. So if you want to check that out, the link is going to be in the description below. All right, guys. So I wanted to go over uh, real quick with you guys how I would recommend running match coverage against Bunch. But this also is a rule that transcends is actually a really good coverage defense against anything. Okay. So the way we're going to set this up is we're going to come out in our match covers we want to make sure that our zone coverage is set to match that way they're actually going to play the right rules the other thing that we're going to do is we're going to come out in the 3-3 formation and we're going to auto into the 3-3 cub i think this year cover four quarters is really the superior match coverage um, just with the way it plays and so that's the coverage we're going to be utilizing now, the reason we want to come out of nickel 3-3 in the 46 playbook and audible into the 3-3 cub is because it's going to give us significantly better personnel and it's going to give us better adjustments with that personnel, which we're going to show you. So what I like to do here, pretty straightforward, we're going to audible down into the cover four show two. And then basically we can have, we have a couple different options depending on what we want to do. If our bunch set is to the right like this, one of the easiest things to do is we're just going to take uh, our linebackers and we are going to put them on curl flats. We're going to then take that slot corner and we're going to man him up on the number three receiver in the formation. And we're going to crash our line out. That's pretty much it. And I really think it's very helpful um, to shade your coverage outside. So this is kind of my favorite set of adjustments for anything uh, bunch related. This inside quarter on the left side, you don't really have to, but you could put this and roll this into a cover three if you wanted to. Uh, but really, this is going to be fine. The main reason match is very helpful is because any kind of flood concept to the bunch side, it doesn't really matter what it is. You're going to see that match coverage by itself is going to be able to pretty much take that away. Um, it doesn't matter who's on the corner route, whether it be the tight end, whether it be it, it, it literally um, does not matter who is on the corner route. The biggest thing is, you know, are you in match? And if you're in match, you're going to be able to take this away. Another popular concept would be, you know, some variation of this right here. And you're going to see the same basic thing. You're going to get this really nice coverage uh, to, to that side. Very, very helpful. Now, another thing you can do uh, specifically against bunch, if you want to run a little bit of a safer match coverage, is especially when your bunch is to the wide side, one of the things that people will do is they will run this, and I'll show you what this is. They will call verticals, and they will just streak the right receiver. And what you'll see if they have time is a lot of times this guy is going to kind of get over the top, right? So I'll show you how to counter that in a second. But another thing that is helpful is with this, with this defense, we're actually manning up. Like right there, I didn't man them up. We're actually manning up the tight end. So when we man up the tight end and they run this bomb, it does give us a better chance of defending it. And you'll see right here, see how that outside guy will actually go with him. Now, if you put deep out zone knockout on all of your outside corners, it really is very helpful for uh, running this defense because they're going to actually be able to knock the ball out, you know, in situations like that. But another thing that you can do is we can actually play a roll coverage. So what, what do I mean by roll coverage? We're going to put the corner on the left side and outside third. We're going to put the safety on the left side and the inside third. And we're going to take the safety on the right side and put him in a deep half. And what you're going to notice with this is now it's going to play a little bit more zony, if you will. And if they run that concept, they literally just don't have a chance at getting anything open. As you can see right here, it's just really hard for that concept to work. Now, I said in the beginning, I'm going to give you kind of a principle that is going to cross apply no matter what formation you are in. And it's really why I like to run match coverage out of the 3-3 cup formation as opposed to really any other formation. What I, what I like to suggest to people whenever they're running match coverage is I think it's very helpful to just start with the basic rule of thumb that when you set up your match coverage, you want to take this blitzing linebacker here and you want to man him up on the number three receiver in the formation. You want a number of receivers and match coverage to outside to inside. So for this example, you're going to see here, C. Lamb is the number one receiver. 
Calvin Johnson is the number two receiver, and Taysom Hill is the number three receiver. So we're just manning up our linebacker on the number three receiver. And that that little tip alone is going to make you significantly, significantly better um, at defending some of these formations. And the whole idea with this is we want to try to funnel all of the routes into the middle of the field. If we can funnel all of the routes into the middle of the field, it is significantly helpful for us. Now, I also think another little tip with match coverage is actually uh, kind of making sure that there's no tell um, if it's man or if it's match. And the best way that I know how to do that is to essentially uh, basically kind of wiggle my, my user. Then we can audible down into Mike with zero, right? And then from here, you'll notice that if I audible to cover four, you see how the people move. So you've got to kind of be aware of that. That's one of the biggest things. Uh, with this but really if you run match coverage and you adjust out of match coverage then it becomes much harder for them to get any kind of tell yes you're running match but you're making different adjustments as we go throughout the game so the principle and i'll show you how it applies to two by two sets as well is to take care of the number three receiver that is like the core principle to running an effective match coverage now what if we're playing spread if we're playing spread um uh, then what, what I like to do here is actually run a baseline. I'll run this on baseline if we're playing spread, right? And then what you'll see here is the same basic thing, but it's going to tweak it just a little bit. So in spread, you have a number one receiver on the right, a number two receiver on the right, then you have a number one receiver on the left, and a number two receiver on the left. The running back is kind of that number three X-factor receiver. So what we're going to do is we're going to man the running back up so that he can't kill us um in any way shape or form so you see here this is kind of what this looks like now if the running back runs any kind of like streak route or wheel route or angle route we're going to be fine and then our match coverage is handling everything accordingly so just by manning up the number three receiver you're going to make your match 10 times better i want to thank you for watching the video if you want to learn more about match coverage make sure to join our patreon you can sign up at the link down in the description below